My dearly beloved in Christ, death is a thing we must prepare for. And then when we receive the ashes, the priest puts on our forehead the blessed ashes and says, Remember, man, that thou art dust, and to dust thou shalt return. There was once an old priest who was asked on his deathbed if he was afraid to die. He answered, Do you think I would be such a fool as to be afraid of what I've been preparing for all my life? My dear and beloved Christ, mortal sin is the only thing which will make death hard. We should resolve never to stay in the state of mortal sin, but to go to confession as soon as possible. The favorite trick of the devil is to get you to postpone going to confession as long as he can. But if he can keep you in the state of sin, you will belong to him for all eternity. An Arabian proverb says that sin has five fingers. With two fingers, he blinds our eyes so we will not see how evil sin really is. If we really knew how great an offense sin is against God, we would never sin. With two ears, he blocks our two fingers. It blocks our ears, so we will not hear the voice of God. When we're in the state of sin for a long time, our hearts become hard, and we do not wish to repent. With the last finger, he blocks our lips, so we will not speak words of sorrow and repentance. We should never be afraid to speak words of repentance, because God is always ready to hear them. The book of Proverbs we read, He that hideth his sins shall not prosper, but he that shall confess and forsake them shall obtain mercy. My dearly beloved in Christ, happiness is the object for which people live and act. Without happiness, discontent and misery abound. Only the grace of God can give us true happiness in this life. Virtue is the result of living a grace-filled god centered life. No one can be truly happy who is an enemy of God through mortal sin. Enmity with God causes moral and eternal death, darkness, distress, and despair. Despite our infatuation with material things and sinful pleasures, our souls can never find lasting peace and contentment except through union with God. To sin is to deliberately refuse to love, serve, and obey God. Sin is disobedience to God's laws. When we commit sin, we abuse our free will, given by our Creator for the express purpose of knowing, loving, and serving Him of our own accord. Sin is a cause of most unhappiness in life. If sin were removed from our lives and people always obeyed God's commandments, the world would be changed into a paradise. In order to attain supernatural peace, we must remove sin and sin can only be eradicated by repentance and pardon. My dearly beloved in Christ, when a loved one dies or when we lose our wealth, health, or reputation, the pain of loss is deeply felt. Unfortunately, when we lose God's grace through mortal sin, it does not affect us in the same way because sanctifying grace cannot be seen sensed or touched. In addition, we have a strong inner attraction for sin within us. Life is a spiritual combat against sin and temptation. We must hate mortal sin as the greatest of all evils because it makes us all an enemy of God, takes away the merit of all its good actions, deprives it of the right of everlasting happiness in heaven, and makes it deserving of everlasting punishment in hell. In other words, there's nothing worse than mortal sin. True and sincere contrition for sin is not incompatible with complete emotional indifference. There's nothing to worry about if we can't feel sorry for our sins or shed tears. We can be truly contrite even if we cannot get rid of the feeling that if it were not wrong... We'd very much like to do again the evil things we're now trying to repent. We do not always feel what we say when we recite the act of contrition for the simple reason that we've said it so often. 
we can be morally certain we are making a good act of contrition and that we are forgiven when we say to God we're sincerely sorry and that we will do our best not to sin again. My dearly beloved in Christ, the value of contrition is not impaired either by our past unsuccessful efforts to avoid the sins of which we repent or by our fear of sinning again. Repeated failures and broken promises cannot change the fact that we're now truly sorry for them as long as we resolve to avoid them in the future. Neither does the fear or knowledge that we shall probably sin again make our contrition less sincere if we really do not want or intend to sin. The foresight of our weakness does not imply the will to give in to it. My dearly beloved in Christ, our Lord instituted the sacrament of penance to forgive sin and to help us avoid sin in the future. In confession, souls that are dead due to mortal sin recover the life of grace and the happiness they had lost. God will forgive our sins no matter how great or serious if we truly repent. Christ's precious blood will wash them away. Confession is a proof of God's infinite love and mercy. It's also a means of our justification. Sin is a spiritual disease and confession provides a supernatural remedy. Therefore, the church obliges Catholics to go to confession at least once a year. However, we're strongly encouraged to go to confession frequently because it helps us grow in virtue, overcome temptation, and remain in the state of grace. In confession, we also have an opportunity to receive instruction and spiritual advice from our confessor. So we must ask ourselves, how long has it been since I've been to confession? And then if you're afraid of going to me for confession, then next week Father Gerardo will be here. <laughs> and if you want to have your confession heard in Spanish, then he can hear confession in Spanish. So there's no excuse. The effects of a good confession are first the restoration or increase of sanctifying grace, second, the forgiveness of our sins, third, the remission of the eternal punishment if necessary, and also a part at least of the temporal punishment due to our sins, fourth, the help to avoid sin in the future, and fifth, the restoration of the merits of our good works if they've been lost through mortal sin. Why should I go to confession often? The more frequently a person goes to confession, the more thoroughly he cleanses sin from his soul, and the more carefully will he avoid it in the future. The more frequently one goes to confession, the more acts of sorrow he will make, the more deeply he will detest his sins, and more firmly he will propose never to sin again. The more plentifully he will receive the grace of God against relapse, and consequently, the more cleanly he will keep his conscience. He that confesses rarely retains his soul in the state of spiritual death or in the danger of it. Catholics who go to confession often procure the happiness of a virtuous life and later the happiness of a good death. Frequent confession and true contrition are the means to overcome habitual sins because they tame and subdue our sinful passions. The graces of the sacrament are needed to strengthen our willpower and eradicate sinful habits that are deeply rooted. My dearly beloved in Christ, if we sin often, let us confess often. If we fall often, let us rise often. We may sin after confession, but we would sin oftener and more grievously if we did not confess often. Frequent confession gives us the happiness of a holy death. There's no better preparation for death than purity of conscience. That blessing is chiefly obtained by the graces of frequent confession. What mainly renders death bitter is the recollection of past sin, sins that has not been confessed or not sufficiently expiated. Blessed are they who confess frequently during life for they will die comforted and happy. We desire to be happy with God forever in heaven, but we cannot enjoy everlasting happiness unless our souls are pure. We must again and again 
purify our mortal souls in the waters of the sacrament of penance in order to prepare them for God's judgment. Those who put off confession for a long time become accustomed to this practice and may run the risk of losing their immortal souls. If you do not make use of God's grace when he offers it to you, he may deny this grace when you need it most. Frequent confession is one of the best means of saving your soul. Leaving confession for only once or twice a year is indifference and negligence in the service of God. I'd like to close with a story and then a final thought. One day, a servant of God was praying in the church at a time when many people were going to confession. He saw them going in after the, into the confessional one by one and coming out after they had made their confession. God at the same time opened his eyes so that he might see the state of the soul of each of these people. He saw some going in whose souls seemed black and ugly. They came out white and beautiful. They were they who had gone into the confessional with mortal sin on their souls and had come out forgiven. He saw others going in black and came out still blacker and more hideous. These were the sinners who had made bad confessions. Others again he saw who entered the confessional white and beautiful and came out shining with greater beauty and splendor. These were they who had not committed any mortal sins, but in whose souls there were venial sins. They had, by the virtue of the sacramental grace given by absolution, obtained pardon for them and an increase of grace which made them more and more beautiful before God. And then just one final thought, especially during Lent. A parish priest called in a workman to make some repairs in his church. A nail had to be replaced in the large crucifix that hung over the main altar. The crucifix was removed and laid on the sanctuary floor. As the workman raised his hammer to drive the nail into the hand, he stopped and with his eyes brimming with tears, the hammer fell from his hands. I cannot, he sobbed. This man had been leading a sinful life. Driving the nail into the hand of Christ drove home the shocking thought of what his sins were really doing. He made his confession to the priest who hired him and left this job for another. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Ghost. Amen.